Hey everybody, thank you for joining us at 5 tonight. Here's where we start. Two candidates for Memphis City Mayor have now filed lawsuits against the Shelby County Election Commission over residency requirements. Mayoral candidate Van Turner filed a complaint in Chancery Court yesterday. He, like candidate Sheriff Floyd Bonner, are seeking more clarity around restrictions on how long and where mayoral candidates can live leading up to an election. Zaria Oates has been following the lawsuits as they roll in and joins us live in studio with the latest. Zaria. I spoke with candidate Van Turner when candidate and Shelby County Sheriff Floyd Bonner filed the first lawsuit in this election. Turner told me his legal team would file a new lawsuit if they felt Bonner's suit was missing anything they deemed critical. Today, Bonner's main additional point in his lawsuit emphasizes the tie between mayor and council residency requirements was not repealed and would need another popular vote to repeal it, sending ABC 24 this statement, quote, a small group of insiders afraid of change and reform want to handpick the mayor. The people should choose the mayor by the same standard they elect the city council. This is a clear cut example of trying to take choices away from voters. Turner says there was no need for so many opinions requested by the Shelby County Election Commission, but acknowledges that the final decision will now come down to a judge's ruling and should not impact voters. We've had two or three opinions regarding this issue. At each point in time, I've tried to follow the law. I think the council is going to propose a new law to say that it's one year. It's a one year requirement in the county. So it makes sense to have a one year requirement in the city. And we just have to move forward. I, I don't think this is confusing. There's no need to have this issue dissuade anyone from voting. As the date to pull petitions May 22nd approaches, the candidates filing lawsuits believes there's plenty of time for the residency issue to be resolved before then. We reached out to the Election Commission for a comment on the second lawsuit being introduced. While Administrator of Elections Linda Phillips is not available today, when the initial suit was filed by Bonner Phillips, said the residency issue was not politically motivated and the Election Commission is, quote, obliged to follow the opinion of the city attorney. Pepper, Rudy. All right, Zaria, thanks a lot.